two champions crowned in PEI, an expansion at Cape Breton at a brewery, a few new beers in Nova Scotia, and a very interesting event next Tuesday in Halifax, all tonight on the Maritime Beer Report. Hello and welcome to the April 18th Good Friday edition of the Maritime Beer Report. The Gone House crowned the winners of its first annual Home Brew Challenge. Congrats to Ryan Palmer and Lee Nicholson. They won with their Cranberry White Ale. This brew will be on tap at the Gone House in a couple of weeks. Big Spruce Brewing grew a little this week. They added two 10-barrel Una tank fermenters and hoped to passivate them uh, yesterday. And then on to brewing. They still have one more fermenter and two conditioning tanks to come. So things are really booming up in Big Spruce. Jeremy is also brewing a second batch of you spin me white round wheat IPA because as he puts it you loved it. Boxing Rock Brewing Company and the Ladies Beer League released All Wife's Revenge last evening at the Stillwell Beer Bar. At 4% ABV it will be a great session beer. It will be available in 1 liter growlers at Halifax Seaport Market on Saturday and 650 ml bottles at Bishop's Cellar Premier Wines and Spirits, Harvest Wines, and Cristal Wine Merchants. I had a glass night and I quite like it. And although they didn't mention it, I assume it's on sale at the brewery as well. Rock Bottom Brew Pub have their latest beer on tap, dubbed the Mighty Thalusa Doom. It was spawned from the dregs of a tiny little can of Heady Topper. This is from uh, Rock Bottom. The yeast strain, the VB, VBP1188, simply known as Conan, is highly sought after and regarded for its intensity, fruity apricot-like ester production, and powerful fermentation. So we thought we'd have a little time brewing up the double IPA with it. Local brew noser Rob Short harvested the yeast from a can of delicious hoppy Vermont-born brew, cultured it in a starter and ran it across the harbor to to them. We continued nurturing and feeding the beast, continuing into a concentrated 50 liter starter for the main batch of the hoppy Columbus Simcoe Centennial Chinook goodness. They also they also add that they created it with the nod of John Kunich and team at, at Alchemist Brewers of the Heady Topper. And by the way, this one is 7.8 ABV and 100 plus IBUs calculated. Rogues Roos said last Saturday that their oatmeal stout is on. First time in six years, so get it while it lasts. I stopped in the line in Bright yesterday to talk to owner Sean about Tuesday's tap takeover by Big Spruce. The event starts at 6 p.m. and goes until close, which I think is 1 a.m., there's a DJ until 9, and then Modern Grass Bluegrass Band after that. Entrance is free, and $1 will be donated for each pint you buy to the Ecology Action Center's Green Belt Initiative, and the musicians will pass the hat. Uh, there's also going to be a special menu items that will be recommended pairings. What beer is coming, you might ask? Well, Kitchen Party, Serial Killer, Bitter Gitter, Ready You're Not, of course, with You Spin Me White Round and The Last Keg on Earth of the Whole Nine Yards Scotch Ale. You want more? Okay. How about a Glen Morangi? I'm not familiar with that one. Infused Serial Killer? Just to boot. Uh, I'll have all the details posted on my blog tomorrow. For all the people affected by flooding in New Brunswick, my thoughts are with you. And until next week, take care and enjoy responsibly. <laughs>